that and I'm helping you understand a lot of Afrobeats and Nigerian songs that are out. Now, just making sure you know that only the songwriter knows the true meaning of a song since they wrote it. However, I'm here to help out with some of the slang, some of the broken English, the Yoruba language that they use in a lot of their songs. Today, we're going over People by Libyanka. Now, Libyanka is from the country of Cameroon. And pretty much in this song, she's talking about like people that suffer in silence or that are struggling in the dark, that deep down they're going through really hard, deep times and that a lot of times people might not notice it. And also in an interview, Libyanka mentioned that she has cyclothemia. Now this is, this causes someone to have a bunch of mood disorders. Like you can be emotionally high, emotionally down. And she mentioned that when she composed this song, she was on the low state, like she's a little bit down. So let's get started. And just letting you know that Bamenda is a city in Cameroon, I believe, and I believe it's a city. And she's just kind of letting people know this is where she's from. So if you know someone that's consuming alcohol, a lot of times when they're doing it consecutively is that they're trying to numb down the pain or trying to suppress pain that they're experiencing. So she's she's mentioning here that she's been drinking it for five days. And she's asking like, people, have you noticed it? Did you check in on her? Are you, are you just sometimes so busy with your outside life that you're not focused on what people are going through? Like who checked up on her? I walked in the room, I got it. Now, banga is another word to say marijuana or Igbo or weed, whatever you call it. And she's saying that, you know, she walked in a room, let's just say it's like a party with a few people and that her eyes are red. So a lot of times when you're thinking about a party and a gathering, maybe people may assume, oh, she's been smoking um, banga. Like, you know, maybe that's why her eyes are red because she's high. She's not in herself, but she's like, no, my eyes are red and I don't smoke banga. So it's like she's saying she's been crying her eyes out. Her eyes are sore and her eyes are red, but people may be assuming something else. And she's like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm hurting. Like, don't you see it? And she's asking, did you check on me? Did you notice me that my eyes are red from crying? You know, I'm, I'm going through a lot. Don't assume it's from marijuana or don't be so caught up and busy that you don't check in on me. And she says that no one can, no one notices the paranoia. Like in the, in the dark, you know, she's paranoid. She's worried. But a lot of times she just comes up with a smile. She comes in happy. She puts a facade on almost. So people don't notice her. They're just like, oh, you're okay. Okay, bye. But mm -mm, something, something's wrong. Yes. Now, when you think about a grave, it's equivalent to death almost. So she's saying that she's buried inside her grave. So it's like, she, death is like the, the last final stage of anyone's life. So she's saying that little by little by little, she's dying. Like it, this, this pain is hurting her so much, but you know, people are busy. No one's noticing that she's going through all this struggle, but in the in the secret places, in the dark hidden places, she's in a lot of pain. And then she mentions it, that people don't really know you. You can work with a coworker and see them all the time. You can have neighbors that you greet and say hello to, but deep down people don't really know the things that you're suffering or the battles or the demons that you are fighting So 
Holy Father is like God. She's like God, God. And you know, when things can no, when you can no longer do things in your own power, you reach out to God, like God, please. And she's saying, I'm trying to hold my head. She's using some broken English there. And it's like, I'm trying to keep my head up. I'm trying to keep my head high. You know, like at least if you can keep your head up, you can breathe, you can, you know, just, just still be strong in this life. And then she says, make you know, leave me Dico. And I looked this up that Dico is Cameroonian broken English that they're using the country of Cameroon. And it means like to die. And she's like, do not leave me to die. God, please. I'm suffering. And, you know, I'm reaching out to you that God, please do not, do not let me die. Like, give me life. Give me strength. So she's saying, Holy Father, again, God, please try to understand that Yahoo girl no day for hair. Now, someone that does Yahoo is like they're a scammer. Like you can say like a Yahoo boy, a Yahoo girl, like they scam people, they deceive people. And she's saying, God, please, I'm not manipulating you. I'm not deceiving you. I'm coming to you. I'm honest. Like, please help me out. Like you're the only one that I can rely on. All right, and that's pretty much the end of the song. Let me know what you guys think. Do you have any other questions? Please let me know. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notifications so that you can be up to date with my newest videos. Thank you, take care, God bless. I'm in love with